shops in the night K2 and uh, um, a Gowin uh, Corvette uh, you are passing uh, this morning uh, in Toulon. It's uh, the FAT class uh, Corvette uh, from the Egyptian Navy and uh, the Silena uh, NK2 system is still on board uh, with uh, Gowin. hard kill, we have soft kill, and we have active soft kill and passive soft kill. And the principle is uh, to deploy for the passive soft kill high credible decoys. And uh, the, the decoy will be deployed close to the ship uh, in order to attract the missile. And uh, the radio frequency part the decoy, uh, Lacroix developed uh, the second generation of corner reflectors. It's a second generation. We are using only corner reflectors. We don't uh, make any concession with uh, mix with shaft because uh, a lot of uh, missiles have currently shaft discriminators. So for Lacroix and for the French Navy, we don't, uh, we, ne we never uh, need to use uh, shaft. We use corner reflector only, and uh, a lot of corner reflectors. That only one or two like. Uh, some competitors uh, provide. And uh, the corner reflectors are uh, blood bound decoys uh, that are generating uh, ship light, light points. Uh, blood bound, that is uh, the free band. Uh, India, Juliet, and the KI band, the millimetric wave band, where more and more seekers are free lighting. And, and uh, for the terminal guidance, uh, specifically. We also have uh, the current uh, range. Uh, higher band, uh, infrared band uh, decoys uh, that are spectral against uh, bicolor seekers uh, and uh, morphologic, uh, we are mimicking the, the bright point of the ship, uh, funnel and uh, exhaust, uh, that are the, the points uh, that uh, can be uh, detected uh, whatever the weather conditions uh, and uh, whatever the ship inclination. And uh, we are providing a ship like signature without uh, fluctuation. So, this is the principle. The problem is uh, not to have, uh, or not to have uh, passive decoys, is you need to have effective, uh, efficient uh, passive decoys, or you can use a magic powder like a shaft. Uh, so, the Lacroix counter reflector. Uh, when we say it's uh, often copied, but uh, never equaled. Uh, um, a radio frequency uh, decoy may be composed by corner reflector only, like I said to you, 
because the shaft discredits the decoy, so, so under shaft concession, we need a, a large number of uh, corner reflectors, minimum of four or six uh, corner reflectors together, to ensure a sufficient uh, spectral richness in front of uh, modern seekers that are looking for spectral richness of the spectrum. And uh, what is uh, very important is the difference, perhaps, of uh, Lacroix CNR and the uh, competitors CNRs is that uh, we are using uh, solid frame corner reflector, not inflatable, because you need a very exigent, uh, to meet very exigent uh, geometry requirements. Uh, you can see what is the corner reflector principle. Uh, on the right, uh, it's a perfect uh, geometric uh, corner reflector. All the beam is reflected in the direction of the emitter. If you don't have the perfect geometry, if you have the right uh, side on green, uh, the, the, the beam will be reflected in another direction than the base side. So if the base side is melting, the reflector beam will not go back to the base side. So you need perfect geometry. And that is the principal difference between our competitors that are using uh, inflatable decoys. And with inflatable decoys, you cannot have perfect 90 degrees angle. wanted to, you to see the masking effect, but you also to see the ship. Uh, so, the CMOS launchers, we have also a module. On the, the ship, you can have a lot of modules to adapt to the size and configurations and the requirement uh, for the ship. For amphibious, all the modules will be in the direction of the beach, for instance. Um, and uh, the technology is a technology we have uh, developed uh, 10 years ago uh, from the HGDS. Uh, and we are using this technology and we are implementing it under the Silena. Uh, and the effect is uh, first the white band target suppression in the electro optical band, visible band. And uh, so this cloud, uh, this mock that has been especially uh, been developed for the naval application. It's not like the galaxy you have seen. It has the same color and so on, same composition. Uh, has also the, uh, the propriety of uh, backscattering the laser beam. So this is a complementary uh, layer. We have radio frequency, infrared, and masking because more and more seekers have precise, have multiple seekers, including radio frequency and infrared, 
and TV. You can see on your smartphone, uh, a camera is uh, very easy to be integrated. We are still uh, working uh, on the uh, off-board uh, active uh, decoy. Uh, we have made a proposal uh, to the DGA and uh, the Navy. We have a uh, pyrotechnic booster to have uh, immediate uh, reaction. And uh, we have a uh, Desterous uh, UAV uh, that uh, provide uh, unrivaled, I think, uh, operational maneuverability. We have only made a proposal and uh, we are waiting for an answer. I'm not able to say you uh, more about such a project. In-house at Lacroix, or is it following a customer request? And uh, or specifically, which kind of uh, threats is it uh, designed against a new IIR seeker or laser guided bombs? Um, first of all, the, the French Navy uh, is not interested by masking uh, the ships. Uh, it's uh, why you have uh, the radio vacancy and if it is developed uh, with the French DGA. The CMOSC has been uh, developed uh, with uh, Nova Country, which is uh, confidential, I'm sorry. And um, we, have, uh, we, we have now uh, receiving uh, some requirements from end users uh, requiring a masking capability, especially for amphibious operations. Uh, but uh, some, uh, well, we have. Uh, um, a group of experts, international experts, uh, we are discussing uh, from uh, any country, and uh, they said that uh, due to the miniaturization of the components uh, into a seeker, you will have the radio vacancy seeker, India, Joliet Pond, you can have a millimetric wave seeker, a small one, for the terminal attack, you can have also for discrimination infrared uh, camera and the TV camera. It's uh, possible to have uh, the two, three, maybe uh, four capability. And for us, uh, we need to have a full credible solution facing uh, multi-mode missile, so including radio vacancy, infrared, uh, visible, and uh, even the laser. Uh, so we are facing the future with uh, multi-mode, full multi-mode uh, missiles.